Hello, my name is Chris Rowe, and this is the video for 7th grade lesson 6. So let's get started with one. Look at the graph above, which point shows the number of players in a team. So we have to find the point that tells us the number of players in one team. And since the team is in the x-axis, that means that x should equal to 1. And that's that point over here, which is 1 and 11. So this point tells us that there are 11 players in one team. So that will be our answer, which point shows that two teams have 22 players. That would be that. Teams, that's the x-axis. Players, that's the y-axis. And this is the only point that has 2 as the x and 22 as the y. How many players would seven teams have? Since we know that one team has 11 players, that means we would have 77 players when we have 7 teams, since 7 times 11 is 77. Let's get forward. <clears throat> there are 120 students in 7th grade, and 40% of them are boys. How many boys are there in the 7th grade? So we know that 40% is 0 0.4 when it is uh, convert it into a decimal. That means you can just multiply this value by 120 to get the number of boys in 7th grade. And 0 0.4 times 120 is 48. So B is our answer. 5. Calculate 25% of 72. 25% that is 0 0.25 in decimal form. Or in fraction, that's 1 over 4. Oh, you can use either one. I'm just going to use the decimal. 0 0.25 times 72. That is 18. So A is our answer. You can try the other two on your own. You are making a leather book cover. You need a rectangular piece of leather that is 18 inches long and 11 inches wide. Find the cost of the piece of, uh, if the leather costs 0 0.25 cents or I mean dollars per square inch. So first we have to find the area of the leather piece. In order to do that, we have to multiply the length with the width, so 18 times 11, that is 198 inches squared. And now we can find the cost by multiplying this value by 0 0.25. And 198 times 0 0.25 is 49.5 so the cost of a leather piece that is 18 inches long and 11 inches wide is $49.50 let's try three a car travels at an average speed of 55 miles per hour how many miles does a car travel in 2.5 hours so we're given the speed and we're given the time. So all we need to do is just multiply the speed and time. So 55 miles per hour times 2.5 hours. If you multiply them together, the hours cancel out and we get the number of miles. So 55 times 2.5 is 137.5 miles so if the car is traveling at this speed 55 miles per hour for 2.5 hours 
the car will travel 137.5 miles. Let's get five. For an art project, you make a square print with a side length of eight inches. You make a frame using strips of wood one and a quarter inches wide. What is the area of the frame? And there's a hint. So we have the print. And we have the frame. So the print, the square print is eight inches. And the frame is one and a quarter inches wide. And what we want to do is find this area. In order to do that, we first need to find the area of the whole thing, the frame and the print. Then we need to find the area of the print and subtract that amount from the total area. So let's let's do that. So since this is eight inches and the width of the frame is one and a quarter inches, that means also this part is one and a quarter inches. And if you add all those all those values together, you get ten and a half inches for each side and now we can find the area so 10.5 times 10.5 is 110.25 inches squared and now we need to find the area of the print since the side of the print is 8 inches, we can find the area by multiplying it 8 by 8, and that is 64 inches squared. And now we just need to subtract that amount, and that is 46.25 inches squared. This amount is the area of the frame and that's it thanks for watching